Hey friends, welcome to the Swing My Heart podcast with your host, Nicole and Hannah. Come join us for some hopeful conversations about heartfelt entertainment that makes your heart swing. Hey Hallmarkies, we are back for another episode and today I'm joined by my friend Alex (laughs) for the first time on this (laughs) podcast to preview the 2023 Hallmark Channel and Hallmark Movies and Mysteries summer movies. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Nicole. Of course. Sure. Welcome to the podcast. I'm excited to chat with you today. Yep, I am too. <laughs> Before we get started, Alex, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to start watching Hallmark? Okay, cool. Okay, so I started watching Hallmark. It was probably December 2019 so like the Chris like the big Christmas Mm -hmm. season movies I remember it was like one night I was like casually scrolling through my tv I'm like what's on and I stopped and I'm like wait a minute Kelly Pickler Christmas at Graceland was the first movie like I ever watched and I stopped I was like wait a minute I'm like why is Kelly Pickler in a Hallmark movie I'm like wow so that's, and then I had no recollection to who Wes Brown was, any of the guys on the channel. So I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, no, what? There's something else on. Let me just sit here and watch it. Because my aunt is actually really familiar yeah. with like the Hallmark Channel yeah. movies than I am. Like she's been watching like way before, way oh, before. That's I awesome. So, um, yeah, that was the first movie I started like. Wow. Ever watched on the entire channel. Then I like kind of like just snowballed after that. And I just started watching the rest of them, I guess. But that's awesome. I'm glad that you're a fellow Hallmarky. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good movie to start out is, your if Hallmark. I had to say like yeah. out of like Wes Brown's movies, that one and the other the second movie he did with Kelly Pickler, Wedding at Graceland, those yeah. are my two favorite West Brown movies, like in my opinion. They're great. Yeah. If I had to pick two. So yeah. No. He's now one of my favorites. Right. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Awesome guy. Very sweet. I met him at Roman <laughs> Drama. Met him at Christmas Con. Yeah. So yeah, yes. he was a doll. He was really cool. Yes. I think I've said this on the podcast before, but I had always watched the Hallmark Christmas movies from what I can remember, mm-hmm. but I didn't really know pre-2017 that they did movies other than Christmas. Oh my God. <laughs> so basically, I'm just going to say that my real Hallmark watching started around the time I started watching when calls the heart live which was season four and that's when I really started watching all the movies live that I could that's good yeah so I've been watching ever since then yeah after that first like I said I always knew the Christmas movies were like the biggest thing for them yeah but I knew I knew that there were they had like other movies as well Mm -hmm. but like it was that's how like I started like after after the Christmas I started watching the Christmas movies and then that's that's how I started watching Mystery 101 and then getting into the mystery series and I started yeah watching all the other season seasonal movies so yeah I guess it was a snowball effect (laughs) yeah I guess I can say that when calls the heart was really my first hallmark type of programming I watched from what I can remember I'm sure that there are movies that are just not coming to me right now (laughs) that I watched before that right but why don't we get to the topic of why we're here, which is the yeah. summer movies for 2023. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to go first? Huh? Yes. So the first movie is Aloha Heart, starring Taylor Cole and Kanoa Gu, and it's premiering this Saturday, July 29th at 8, 7 central. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here is the summary from Hallmark Channel's website. A conservationist travels to Hawaii for a best friend's wedding, and instead of a for action vacation, she finds herself in wedding prep and helping the new hotel manager make changes to his family hotel. I think this will be a good movie. What do you think? No, I think so too. I think I love, like I said, I'm a big Taylor Cole fan. Yes. So I love 
majority of her, of her movies. So yeah, I'm me too. Gonna like this one. I'm yeah. not really familiar with the male lead. I'm not either. I think this is the first time I've first heard of him. First time he's on, yeah. right? I think so. This is his first Hallmark movie, I believe. Right? It is his first yeah. because I'm like, I'm not familiar with him. But no, I yeah. think it's going to be a good one because it's yeah. Taylor Cole, then it's Hawaii. Yeah. It's a Summer Nights movie, so it's going to be a yes. good time. <laughs> I think the scenery will be beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Yeah. And I'm excited to see how the two leads play off of each other. Yeah. Right. Camera series is key. <laughs> yeah. Just from the previews, what do you think about their chemistry? I feel like it, in a lot of these movies, even like from like the previews, you can tell if like the couple is going to have like good yeah. chemistry. It's going to be yeah. like, really like you're not so sure. Yeah. But, no, I think they're going to have good chemistry. Yeah. And chemistry is a big thing. It can make or break a movie. Especially these movies. Like I, yes. say, I say that all the time. Yeah. Chemistry makes or break makes or break a whole art movie. Yep. So, no, I think it's gonna be good though. Yeah, I think so too. Mm-hmm. What would you give for a initial ranking for this movie out of ten? Mm. I'm giving eight out of ten. Yeah, I think right? I would give it an yeah, eight too. Eight. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do seven. I'm like, no, let me give it an eight. So yeah. Like, <laughs> I'll give it an eight. Maybe after we've seen these movies, you can come back and we can talk about them right <laughs> in our final rankings. Right, that would be fun. Yeah. Okay. The next one on our list is Making Waves, which premieres on Saturday, August 5th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Hallmark Channel. It stars Holland Roden and Corey Cott. Mm. And the synopsis from It's a Wonderful Movie, Blogspot, reads, Music executive Amelia goes to a festival on the Outer Banks to beat out the competition for an elusive new band and discovers that the group is fronted by Will, her childhood summer sweetheart. Mm Mm-hmm. Over the course of the week, as Amelia tries to convince Will that her company is the better choice for his musical vision, she realizes there might be a conflict of interest, her feeling for him. (laughs) What do you think about this movie and this pairing so far? Well, I also like Taylor Cole. I'm a big Holland Rowan fan. Yeah. I used to watch her on Teen Wolf and I loved her on that. And it's so funny because I felt like she was like one of the one actresses that I felt like would never appear on a Hallmark movie because of the yeah. part she played on TV. It was like literally the exact opposite. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I'm excited that she is, she is like yeah. in a couple of movies since she did the Christmas one with Tyler last year, which yeah. I Yeah, I love that winner. one. Yes. Winner, that one was a winner. Yeah. But, yeah, but I'm excited. I'm, and I, I'm familiar with Corey Cott because I know his brother Casey is on Riverdale. Riverdale, yep. Yeah, right. I know. Didn't he do another? He did another Hallmark movie, right? With Corey, I think was in was Butler's, Butler's in Love. In Love. I never watched that one, but I, I know he was in it. Yeah, he was in that. Okay, so this is his second. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I think their chemistry will be great. Right. I like the concept of the movie too. Like yes. The, the whole concept, like she goes like to a festival in the Outer yeah. Banks. I think that's like fun, like the music aspect of it. Yes. But, and then they also have, like, obviously the romance aspect, which is... Of course, yeah. Always the point. <laughs> but no, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be an, a great one. Yeah. I always love when music is incorporated into a movie. Yeah. Same. Same here. Even so. if it's not a musical. <laughs> I just love music aspect, aspect of a movie. No, me yeah, too. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And getting a little off track for just a second. That's one reason why I loved Just Jake with Brittany. no 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 I know that when you when when Dara told me that in that live and she goes oh she was watch that movie I'm like because I knew who really yeah. Brit- like for me I always tell I feel like I tell Dara this all the time like yeah. for me personally when it comes to these movies I have a hard time watching the movie if I don't personally know one 
of yeah, their, their show. I like, understand that. Yeah. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like from previous yeah. shows or like previous movies, I have a mm-hmm. hard time getting into the yeah. movie itself. But when she told me, I'm like, wait, it's Brittany Bristow, and I love Brittany Bristow too. I think like yeah. she's like, I'm so glad she's getting more like lead roles too. Yeah, I feel like she's always behind the scenes in movies. But no, just Jake was a good was a good one. Too. Yeah, love that one. Yeah, the musical aspect in it. Yes. I'm going to go out on a limb and rank this movie 9 out of 10. <laughs> I was going to give it a 9, too. I was going to give it a 9. For this one. I think yeah. it'll probably be one of my favorites for the year. Yeah. I'm just guessing because I love right. Holland. No, me too. Me too. Yeah, she's great. Yeah, she's a good actress. Yes, so. she is. I never watched Teen Wolf, but yeah, you know who was, who was in that show with her? Jill was in that show with her. Jill Wagner. Oh, I didn't know that. She actually had. She, it's so funny with with Jill because she had. Um, oh my god, the part she played in it was so opposite of like what she does on Hallmark. Oh my goodness! I think Amy Winslow just the reverse of Amy. <laughs> I'll have to see if she I can find that villain. show. She was literally the like the main one of the main villains in the entire series. Oh wow! And she played a, like she was she was great on it. She was oh, really wow. good. I'll have really. to see if I can find that show and watch it's, it. Do it. They, they might have it on demand, Teen Wolf, but I don't know if you have to pay for it. I'm sure I can find it somewhere. You can find it. You can find it. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Probably. It so might be cool. on Netflix. I don't know. It, I haven't even looked. I don't think it's on Netflix because I tried looking for it on Netflix. Oh. And I don't think it was there. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. Probably. Oh my goodness. Okay. You want to talk about the next one on the list? Yes. Okay. So this, so this is the third movie of the Summer Nights, which I'm, yes. re- I'm really excited about. I'm this. really excited about this one too. <laughs> okay. Third movie is called A Sapphire Romance. It's starring Brittany Bristow and Andrew Walker. Mm-hmm. It's premiering Saturday, August 12th at yep. 8, 7 central. Yep. And here's the summary for it. Okay. All credit goes to Hallmark Channel for these yep. preview summaries, by the way. Yes. Okay. Megan, played by Brittany Bristow, Brittany. is a research scientist living her dream in South Africa, pursuing a PhD in ethiology while working as a ranger on a nature preserve when tim andrew walker an american theme park designer rise to capture footage for an immersive safari theme attraction megan serves as his guide as they spend time together exploring the savannah to observe giraffes elephants and lions in their natural habitats romance develops Knowing that Tim will soon return home, Megan is afraid of giving her heart to someone who was half a world away. <laughs> I think this is going to be another good one. This is going to be another. I feel like it's going to be another favorite of mine. Yeah, and Andrew and Brittany are two of my favorites. Right. right. No, I think they're they're real. They're like they're up there for me too. Yeah. Like I said, Brittany. I always like Brittany Bristow as an actress. Like as I said before, I feel like she was mm-hmm. always like doing roles like behind the scenes. Like she was never a lead and now I feel like she's been getting a, a couple of more lead yeah. roles I love because I mm-hmm. feel like she's like she's like uh, she's like not even up and coming I feel like she's yeah. been on for like a long like a long time yeah. right basically yeah she's been with Hallmark for a long time mm-hmm. okay. and she's also done some up tv and great American family movies as well no that's great no but yeah. I think this one, if I had the, it's definitely going to probably be one of my favorites. Yeah. Of the summer. Yes. I think, I think it's the, like, one of the ones I'm most looking forward to as well. Mm-hmm. To watching. And if I remember correctly, I think this is Brittany's second movie she has filmed in South Africa. Oh, really? What, what was her first uh, one? Love on Safari with Lacey. Oh. You know, now I kept on saying to myself too, Nicole, I'm like, why is it? I'm like, I, I was going to bring yeah. this up. I'm like, I'm like, this is very similar, similar to Love on Safari. Then I, I totally forgot yeah. that she was in that movie. But like, I love that one. <laughs> that was another, another good one. Yes. Lacey. I mean, like all of Lacey's movies are majority good. Yes, exactly. She's one yeah. of my favorites. So I love her. Uh, yeah. Love her as well. I think that they're going to have great chemistry. 
from what I can tell. Yeah, no, I do too. Yeah. I do too. I think I'm going to go out on a limb again, and I think I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. 10? No, me too. <laughs> me too. Just, yeah, I think I, I'm going to give it a 10 too, because I feel, yeah, I'm going to give it a 10. Are you reading my mind? Because our rankings have been exactly the this same. The same. No, you know why? Because I don't know. I feel like it's like, it's like I feel like when I'm more familiar with the actors and I've seen yeah. them a lot more movies uh, you know what I'm saying I'm like I'm like it's probably gonna go it's gonna, gonna go well it's just kind of funny like we have the same exact right <laughs> yeah I'm gonna get I'm gonna give it a 10 yeah. too but I think we're kind of on the same wavelength with these Hallmark movies right that's what it is that's why they get it <laughs> I think we kind of have the same feelings about the same Hallmark movies no that's what it is that's what it definitely is <laughs> oh my goodness Okay, the next one on the list is Never Too Late to Celebrate, and it premieres Saturday, August 19th at 8 p.m. Eastern on Hallmark Mm -hmm. Channel. It stars Carlos and Alexa Penavega and Sherry Miller, who Mm -hmm. the postables know from one of the movies. (laughs) I won't spoil it for you since you haven't seen (laughs) the movies yet but they all know who I am referring to (laughs) this synopsis from it's a wonderful movie blog spot reads Camilla's busy schedule at the dental practice where she works has left her exhausted and with little time for a life outside of her patient load Mm -hmm. when she meets Javi a substitute teacher at the school where Camilla's mother Sherry works she takes him up on his offer to join the Spanish class he teaches on the side so she can finally learn the language of her late father sparks fly as Javi helps Camilla connect with her Mexican roots and with her 30th birthday around the corner Javi encourages Camilla to mark this milestone with a double quinceanera to honor her Hispanic heritage Not one for big parties, she's hesitant at first, but ultimately decides to take the plunge and celebrate in style. (laughs) What do you think about this movie? Well, I love Carlos and Alexa Pina Vega. Yes. I always, always enjoy their movies. Yeah. What I like about it, it's like incorporated with their, I feel like their heritage, right? Yeah. The movie, which I like, and um, I, no, I think it's going to be a good one. Because like I said, I feel like it's like incorporated with their like Hispanic heritage. Aren't, isn't, aren't they? Yeah, um, they're, they're a couple. They're married in real life. Right, right. That's what I, that's what I love about yeah. them too. Because yeah. I know he was on like Big Time Rush. Yep. Carlos, and then, and then she, I know, I know Alexa from like Spy Girl. Spy Kids. Spy Me too. That's what I remember her from, and then I'm like, yeah. and then she's the Hallmark movies, and I'm like, yeah, oh, no, but I think it's gonna be a good one. And I think so too. too. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be a good one. And not gonna lie, I was one of those people that watched Big Time Rush. Same. I was a Big Time Rush fan, so that was so. <laughs> don't be embarrassed, Nicole. You're not alone here. I think I still have a couple of their songs. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think I have their songs on my Apple Music yeah. playlist too, so don't be embarrassed either. <laughs> I was one of those kids who was all about Disney and Nickelodeon in that era, Same. the golden yep. age of Disney yep. and Nickelodeon. It, it, it was the golden age. <laughs> Can it they was. not make shows like that anymore? Like, please? Because they're just stupid now. <laughs> we can go into a whole other conversation, Nicole. We start this. I know they're like, no, they're not good. Sorry, they're not even like on the same same wavelength as the shows. Uh-uh. That we now that I feel uh-uh. like they're like all over. I'm like, they're, like they're all over the place, and I'm like, what's? I'm like, who watches this? I'm like, no, this is, like this isn't what we grew up with. I still love Disney. Not gonna lie, but. The shows on Disney Channel now are just dumb. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't even 
tell you, like, the last time I honestly watched Disney Channel, like, actually, I think, I think maybe it was, like, The Sweet Life on Deck. What was that, like? Yeah. Um, I can't even remember. Oh gosh, let's see. It was, according to Google, it says the release date is September 26, 2008. So maybe that was when it premiered, I think. Sweet Life? Sweet Life on Deck. Yeah, so I think it ended like 20. I don't even know. I feel like if that's when it premiered, I think it went a couple seasons. I don't know how many. Right. I don't know. <laughs> I was there. I watched the finale though. I watched the final. Yeah, episode. I did too. I should, I should yeah. know. Yes. I should. But know. I think when I started watching When Calls the Heart, I think that's when my Disney Channel watching days kind of started dwindling. <laughs> <laughs> because that's really when the show started getting stupid. Oh yeah, basically. I don't even know yeah and what was the other show Austin and Allie was another good one those were like the last two survivors (laughs) (laughs) yeah they were were the last two basically decent shows that I loved Austin and Allie no that was a good one yeah that was a good one Austin it was that was like I said those two the only basically decent good shows that they had left and after that it was like yeah thumbs down no I feel like probably a lot of stuff changed behind the scenes too that's why like yeah probably started changing yeah like the writing and like I don't know probably like maybe producers and all that stuff yeah but no I'm getting back to the homework stuff back to our homework summer nights for you no but I'm excited for this one with Alexa and Carl yeah yeah me too I I love I love their other movies that they've done together like their mystery Picture Perfect Mysteries and Love at Sea and yep. their other ones. Oh, yep. what was it? Love in the Limelight was the other one they did together, yes. right? Yep. That was the one too. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those were all good really ones. good. Yeah. Alex, I think it is your turn to talk about the next movie on the okay. list. This is the fifth movie of the Summer Nights 2023. And it's called Napa Ever After and it's starring Denise Bote and Colin Lawrence and it's premiering Saturday, August 25th at 8, 7 central. And here is a preview from the Hallmark Channel. After inheriting her estranged grandmother's winery in Napa Valley, Cassandra, a high-powered attorney, takes a sabbatical from her job to renovate the property that was the source of the fractures within her family. With the help of handsome local Alec, played by Colin Lawrence, she learns more about the grandmother she hardly knew, and she is able to reconcile the past while finally opening herself up to a love she, like she's never known. I think this will be a good movie. No, me too. Me too. Like I said, yeah. I'm more familiar with Colin, Colin. Colin Lawrence because I feel like I've seen in a couple of Hallmark shows and like movies, yeah. Yeah. right? And Denise, has she been in any other Mahogany movies or is this her first? This, I think, is her first. first. But I do know Colin. He's been in the Evergreen movies. Yes, he was in, and he was in Morning Show. Yep. Mystery. And he was he's in, in Virgin one River. Epi- Virgin, he was in that one episode of Mystery One on One, which yeah. I do know. Yep. Right? No, I think, I think it's going to be a good one. I love, like, when they do movies that, I feel like they've done a couple of movies that, yeah. like, surround, like, the wine yeah. concept. Yeah. Yeah. But I like this one. It's like in Napa and California. Yeah. California is like beautiful. Yeah. Winery. So I think I think it's going to be a good one. Yeah. And a little fun fact. My, well, I think my mom has met her too. But my dad and I know the writer for this movie. Oh, really? That's yeah. Cool. Nice. Because she was in my dad's screenwriting program at the University of Georgia. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm excited to see her writing for this movie. I think she'll do a great job. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I was going to give it a 7 out of 10, which is still good. Yeah, for the concept. (laughs) Right, Just, for the concept. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. Yeah. 
yeah we'll have to see where this movie actually ends up on our rankings <laughs> right yeah but I think it'll be good overall yeah like I said I love the whole like wine yeah the valley concept yeah. of a movie like it's very, it's like very summer it's mm-hmm. like the perfect summer theme yeah movie, and I've never been Neither anywhere in I. California so no, no. yeah so. I wonder if it was actually filmed in now, I know that's what I always wanted to about these movies. Yeah, a lot of them do film on location, then some of them they don't. Some of them so don't. Yeah, but yeah, no, it should be a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's been some great on location movies this year. Oh, yeah, a lot of good ones. A lot of good mm-hmm. ones. I try yeah. to. Yeah. No, but then I, I, I feel like I, I always say every Hallmark movie is good because I just love the channel. Yeah. So I can't, yeah. <laughs> it's hard for me. It's hard for me to rank. So that's why, that's why yeah. I feel like it's so hard. For me. It must be so hard. I'm like, how do you, how do you rank these and not feel bad if you give it not so decent, like, ranking? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that would yeah. be, that's hard for me to do because I feel like I, yeah. I feel like there's some, for like a majority of them, I love all of them mm-hmm. for like different reasons. But no, yeah. This would be- yeah, I think so too. Okay, the next one on the list is the first for Hallmark Movies and Mysteries for mm-hmm. the summer for 2023. It is Big Sky River, The Bridal Path, which is mm-hmm. the sequel to Big Sky River. It premieres on Friday, August 11th at 9 p.m. Eastern on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. The synopsis reads... The synopsis reads, Tara, now settled in Montana and dating Cowboy Boone, works to bring their family lives together, but tensions arise as blending their families will be more of a challenge than anticipated. What do you think about this movie so far from what we've seen? See, I, I feel like they had really good chemistry the first movie. In Big I Star loved Earth. the first one, yeah. The first, I feel like the first one... I enjoyed it. Yeah. So I'm, I think the second one's going to be great too. Yeah, I think they have great chemistry. Chemistry. I thought they had good. Yeah, that they had great chemistry in the first one. Yeah. So I expect I expect it to be the same in the second one. Yeah, and I love Kevin, of course. I know you're a big Kevin Smith fan since one calls the heart. Yep. Right. I think all the Hardys are going to be tuning in for this one. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think I'm going to give this one. An eight out of ten for my initial. Yeah, I was, I was gonna give it an yeah. eight too because, like I said, I I seen the first one, mm-hmm. so I I, yeah. I enjoyed it. So I'm yeah. gonna give it an eight as well. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. so too. Yeah, it'll be good, and I love the scenery. Oh, the like the ranch. Oh, mm-hmm. me too. The, the when they when they have those type of movies too, I love watching them. Yes. Like it kind of makes me want to take a trip to Montana. <laughs> I'm too. not going to lie. I know. I've always wanted another place. I've always wanted to visit Montana. Yeah. Yeah. We've been talking about at some point taking a cross country trip to Montana. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I've always yeah. wanted to go with my family too. Yeah. It was, it seems like a beautiful place. Yeah. I mean, we don't have anyone that we know. Right. Like, yeah. Any friends yeah. or family, but it would be a fun place to see. Mm-hmm. take a cross-country yeah. trip I've never been on a cross-country road trip no me I ever me, me either never been but I've I would, people that have done it and they said it's been it was enjoyable but it's like it, it's a lot but it's fun <laughs> I would love to do it at least once yeah you know yeah you know what like I said it's it's nice because you get to see old different yeah. places like as you're driving through to wherever where you're headed to yeah so like, I've always wanted to go to Texas, and Waco is one place. Magnolia Waco. Market. Yeah. Of Waco course, being cool. a Fixer Upper fan. <laughs> yeah, Waco, Waco, Texas seems nice. Yeah, and San Antonio, because of the Alamo. My dad oh, is right. a Davy Crockett fan. Oh, Okay nice sometimes we'd watch when I was a little kid I think there was a show 
uh, the legend of Davy Crockett. Don't and I think I think it was on Disney Channel, I think. Was it the legend of da- what? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was like in the era when they were showing the Mickey Mouse Club and the legend oh. of Zorro oh. and the Hardy Boys and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Like late at night. L- late. Oh, okay. I could be wrong, but I feel like it was on Disney, if I can remember correctly. Like I like the name, like I said, the name, like the title when you said it rings a bell, and I'm like, mm-hmm. was it Disney Channel? It sounds yeah. familiar. Yeah. Born on a mountaintop in a sea. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Yeah. But but it's a catchy song. Yeah. That was so off key, but whatever. Oh my goodness. We are getting a little off track here, but I know. That's okay. That's what makes these episodes fun. Fun, right? Yeah. I was gonna say, I'm like, I bet there's been a couple of times Nicole's gotten off track with her other pod <laughs> friends that have come on, but probably not. It's probably just me. No, it's happened before. Uh, okay, good. It makes me feel better. So you're not the only one. It's all good. It's one of the most enjoyable parts of the podcast is sometimes getting off track with stuff that doesn't stuff even relate then... to the episode. <laughs> no, that probably is fun. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. But anyway, moving on to the next movie, Alex. Which is More Love Rose and it's starring Warren Christie and Rachel Boston. Mm-hmm. And it's premiering Friday, August 18th at 9 p.m. 8, 7 central. And here's the synopsis. Helen is blindsided when her husband asks for a separation. With the help of a friendly vet and rambunctious stray dog, she rediscovers her strength and begins to rebuild her life. I'm excited about this movie, too. No, I love I, Rachel. Yeah, I've like I said, I've only been... What was the first Rachel Boston movie? Oh, oh gosh. Sh- I don't even remember. But I should know that. I think I, it's mine. It was me recently. I think it, the, not, not even the first one. Like I, I'm not really as familiar as, with her movies as like the other actresses though. But I know, obviously mm-hmm. I know who she is. But I think if my two, if I had to pick like two favorite movies that she's done, mm-hmm. Rachel mm-hmm. Boston, it's, the one last bridesmaid which she did with that Paul was a good Campbell, one. yeah, and Dating the Lanes, which she also did with Paul Campbell. That was a so, good one too. Those um, are my two favorites from her. Let's see. I'm trying to remember. I could be wrong, but I feel like my first Rachel Boston movie I saw might have been Ice Sculpture Christmas. Never saw that one. With what was the guy's name? David Alpe. I think, and right. they like they made ice sculptures. Sculptures, yeah. yeah. I know, I know, I know the title of the movie. I just never yeah. watched it. Yeah, it's been a but long I'm, time. I'm with her Christmas movies seen. too, though. Yeah, I feel like I've watched them before. Um, oh my goodness, um, I'm trying to think. I have to say, from the ones I can remember, I think two of my favorite Rachel Boston movies would have to be. The one she did with Wes Brown, the name is drawing a blank. Oh, um, check in the Christmas. Christmas. Yes, that one and that the engagement plot. That one's also one of my favorites with Trevor. I always forget about that one because it's not yeah. now, but that one yeah. was good too. Yes. And the one with Wes Brown. Yeah. yeah. And I love Warren Christie as well. He's a great. No, I love him. I love yeah. the, the movie he did with um, Lacey. Color of Rain. Oh, I've never seen that. That was that. Was I need to watch it. One. That one's a good one. And I need to what, watch it. What was the other one he did with? Um, he's done a couple. Yeah, no, he's done. He's he's done a, yeah. a few of them. Yeah, he did the oh the Christmas one with Candace Cameron. Candace for yep. Yeah. Um, oh, oh gosh. Oh wow, what was the name of it? <laughs> it was the one that was kind was of like. Of yeah oh god what's the name of it if i only had christmas 
that's it. That's the name it. was staring me right in the face. And I, I knew couldn't. It, too. it was right on the tip of my tongue and I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. get it out. Yeah. But yeah, that was, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. I wouldn't say it was a favorite, like a top no. favorite, but it was pretty good. I agree. From what I can remember. Yeah. And Warren was also in another one from 2008, The Most Wonderful Time of the Year, which also starred Henry Winkler, who pretty much everyone knows as Fonzie <laughs> from Happy Days. <laughs> and Brooke Burns. Is right. That is it well. Who we all know from Gourmet, Gourmet Detective. Detective. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great one. I haven't seen that one in a while, but that's a good movie. No, that, it, that's a, yeah. If, if I had the pick, that's like, I think that's another Hallmark mystery series. That's like up there for me, which I, that's enjoyed. a good oh, one. It yeah. It was, a good I wish one. they would continue it because I love Dylan Neal too. Yeah. Dylan, he was good. Yeah. I liked him too. I, I thought they had good chemistry in him. Yes. Like yeah. I think but, so too. I think for this movie, I'm going to give it an initial ranking of. See, maybe eight out of ten. Yeah, I was gonna say seven out of ten. Yeah, I was gonna say seven or seven. eight. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like a typical Hallmark movie, but I think it'll be good. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does sound. Yeah, I think it'll be good too. Because like, yeah, said, the leads, the leads are are gonna. I think I think they're gonna have good, good chemistry. I think so too. Just an initial ranking for this movie. I hope. Once we've seen it, it'll be a little bit higher. Right. Because Rachel is great and Warren is too. It's great. Yeah, they both yeah. are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Moving on to the last movie in the Hallmark lineup for summer 2023 is Guiding Emily, which premieres on Thursday, September 8th at 9 p.m. Eastern. It stars Sarah Drew, Antonio mm-hmm. Cupo, and Eric mccormick Mm. the synopsis reads emily's life changes after losing her eyesight while a guide dog struggles with training through a series of missed encounters both overcome their obstacles and find each other Mm. i think this is going to be a really good one Mm -hmm. i guess sarah sarah drew i'm familiar with so i loved her christmas movie that she did with brian elliott Yes. I love the movie she did with Sam Page, which was really yep. good. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I think it's going to be a good one. She's great at those movies that have a lot of depth, depth. to them. That's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, that have, like, the deeper kind of, like, storylines. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it. I think the title is right. But she was in a movie. It's not Hallmark, but it was really good. I think I watched it on Amazon indivisible about an army chaplain oh i, I never think. heard or a military really, chaplain oh i don't my really gosh. watch a lot of stuff on amazon so i'm, I'm not really it was familiar. really good. It was good i'll have to i'll have to send you the link to it or something because it's yeah send it to me it was a really good movie like she's was, the wife of a military chaplain oh really yeah nice. in the movie of course yeah yeah but i, I remember watching um one summer with her and Sam Page, I was like, oh my mm-hmm. God, this is going to be one of those movies. That one be, made me cry. That, yeah, it made me cry too. And I love that, what's her name was in it too, Amanda. Shul. Shul. She's, she's good. She, yes. I like her too. I'm like familiar with her because she used to be on Pretty Little Liars, like briefly. I've she never was, watched that, but I've heard of it. She was, she actually played the villain on that show. She was actually, oh my she played a pretty like wicked part. Yeah. But yeah, that that's how I knew who she, who she like who she mm-hmm. was from yeah. for being on the Hallmark movies. But yeah, yeah. she was doing the movies too. Yeah, I loved her movie from earlier this year, The Blessing Bracelet. One of my faves for twenty twenty three. Oh, one of my favorites too. And then Carla Marx. After since watching Chesapeake Shore, so yeah, kind of up there for me. <laughs> Love Carla too. Yeah, but no, that's if I had to pick, that's actually one of my favorites from this year yeah. too. Yes. It's a really good one. That's a, I think yeah. it's right now it's my number one for the movies and mysteries rankings mm-hmm. for yeah, 2023. Same. Yeah. And I think if I remember, I heard Eric McCormick plays the voice of the dog. 
Er, he, wait, who, who was that again? Sorry. It's okay. Eric McCormick, he was in a Hallmark movie a long time ago. I can't remember the year it came out, but A Heavenly Christmas. It came out in 2016. It also stars Kristen Davis and Shirley MacLaine. Oh, okay. It's a mm. good one. I haven't seen it in a long time, but it's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I never, I never saw it before. Seems mm-hmm. like a good one. And we had her on the podcast, like right when we were starting out, mm-hmm. like in our first year, uh, Kate Craven was in that movie as well. Oh, nice. She's been in a couple Hallmark movies. Okay. Okay. And her husband has been in a good amount of Hallmark movies. Her husband is Aaron Craven. He was in the movie with Autumn Reeser and Jesse Metcalf, A Country Wedding. Oh, he was? Yeah, he played the pastor, I think, with the real country accent. Yeah. (laughs) He's great, too. I yes. didn't realize it was it. No, but I love I love that. It's another one of my favorites. Yeah. But um, no, that that movie I, I never saw before. Probably probably because it's an older one. Like I feel like the yeah. one from like the early two thousands. I really, I really never like watched, which I should. I should try to get into some of those. Yeah. But. Yeah, Kate and Aaron are both great, and we've had both of them on our podcast. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, Aaron was actually our first interview. Oh my god cool going back to the movie guiding emily i think i'm going to give this an initial ranking of 10 out of 10 i was gonna give i was gonna give it a 9 out of 10 <laughs> yeah that's Not, pretty good yeah. i think it's gonna be a really really good movie yeah i feel like i resonate a little bit more with the movies and like a little bit of like a deeper mm-hmm. storyline yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah I, I do like too. That. Yeah. 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 I love the movies that have more depth. depth to, yeah. Yeah. To them. Mm-hmm. Of course, all. All of the, all are, like, they're yeah. all good. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I enjoy a lot of the Hallmark movies, even the cookie cutter ones. Why? But <laughs> the ones with depth usually are more top of the list for me. Mm-hmm. Same here. One more little fun fact about Guiding Emily. It is based on the book Guiding Emily, A Tale of Love, Loss, and Courage by author Barbara Hensky, writer of The Christmas Club, which was a Hallmark movie a couple years ago with Cameron Matheson and Elizabeth. Mitchell. Mitchell, Mitchell. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Her last name was drawing a blank, but the I knew it was. The only reason I know who she is is because she's on Outer Banks. She has a part on the show Outer Banks. I've never seen that. I know her from the Santa Claus movies. Yes, and she was obviously on those, yes. But yeah. Could, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll have to read that book. I've never read it. I'm I, sure I feel it's like good. I'm familiar with like, the title of the yeah. book. But no, I never read it either, so. Yeah. Well, this was so much fun previewing the Summer Nights movies for 2023. It was. Thanks for having me on, Nicole. Of course. I enjoyed it. Of course. And I will definitely have you back on again sometime. Sounds fun. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe to do a Summer Nights ranking (laughs) after we've seen all of them. Yes. Let's re-rank them. (laughs) Yes. Well, thank you for coming on. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me on. Of course. (laughs) All right, Hallmarkies. I think that wraps up our Summer Nights preview for 2023 for Hallmark Channel and Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. And we will see you next time. We love y'all. Bye. (laughs) Bye.